Okay. Time for another acetate. Um, 5.0. Ah, 5.0. That was. Imagine that this is a screen, and I have uh, this um, this jar of French's uh, mustard, and it's the text. Of course, that goes really well with Frankfurter typeface. Extra fat. <laughs> so I'm going to now put some text onto this. So I'm going to put P and an S and a five. So text on this screen. <laughs> edible text. Edible text. <laughs> There was undo. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Multiple bites, multiple undo in Photoshop 5 with edible text. <laughs> okay. Move, moving on. Photoshop 6. <laughs> This was all about blending. Vector shapes, blend modes, liquefy. Okay. Okay, let's get the blender. The blender. This is not to be confused with with the bassomatic, by the way. Okay, this is a vegematic. Oh, who was that guy with all the dark hair? Let's take off this organic uh, fruit off of this color managed fruit, of course. Let's put it into the color managed workspace of this blender. And one of my favorite features, let's just go down here and turn this on. And to liquefy. Yeah, it's right there. Wow. Amazing feature in Do you remember that, right? Okay, nobody remembers that. Okay, okay moving on. I have four hands. Um, let's bring in uh, the. Um, this is um, an X-Acto blade, by the way. Okay, let's get the X-Acto blade. It's Photoshop 7. This is not the slice tool. The slice tool came out later. And yes, I'm part Volt. Part Volt. Okay, you've got the brush. You're at the brush, right? You got the brush. Okay. Let's just move that seat. Oh, yes. 
One of my favorites. Okay, you guys guess. Come on, guess. I'm putting all these images together. The images are coming together. We don't know quite what it is. It's coming together. It must be. Yes, yes. Auto, auto, auto blend. <laughs> auto. Oh, here we're going to merge. We're going to merge the auto. Auto, the merging, merging button. Oh. It's Photoshop CS3, we saw it earlier. It's all about 3D. Let's just go in here and twist this. Oh, let's, uh, let's draw the advanced user interface in Photoshop CS3. There we go. Check out that interface. Two fingers. Okay, here we go. You can control 3D objects accurately in Photoshop CS3. Oh, ooh. so accurate, just like After Effects. But you know, sometimes it was oh, which wasn't quite as good as After Effects. CS3. It's CS4. This was my favorite. Guess what this is? CS4, come on. Guess what my favorite is? You saw it here earlier. CS4, it's content aware scale. Let's oh, check this out. I push, I push on this. Ooh, ooh. But what if I bring in this acetate of 10 pounds? Oh, it's content aware. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try uh, 20 pounds. Those programmers at Adobe are amazing. Let's try my watch. My watch. But does it truly know the character of any image? The character of any image. <laughs> oh, no. Programming error. Programming error. Okay, fine. We're entering into the future. We're entering into the future. Gotta be ready for the future. Oh, those hands. Oh, how about those hands get over there? Okay. Uh, we've got an exacto blade again. In the future, you'll be able to cut things out accurately, with precision, with this exacto blade in the future. And just see how difficult it is to get that out of there. The people watching at home are going, this guy's an idiot. Okay, um, but imagine, in the future, you could then take the surrounding stars, and they would fill in an area that you extracted with an exacto blade, and fill that in just like that. But then, but then, I, the entire clock would start spinning and turning, and there would be a black hole would form, and you'd fall into that black hole. And then the, if the lights would change, you'd turn on your lights. No. Russell. Wait, no, Russell. no, I'm not done Russell. yet. Not Russell. yet. <laughs> we have to have a few light shows. Wait. We're going to switch back. I have to, I have to remember the 60s. <laughs> 